of starting tomorrow morning after a 3-0 and uh, 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 victory by Biden, the optics of a Sanders campaign continuing, lumbering along, and the backdrop couldn't be more serious. It's a national emergency. Right. Well, Joe Biden is the Democratic nominee. The general election is set. It's Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. So Bernie Sanders may continue to campaign. I think Joe Biden needs to be incredibly respectful of that. To Joy's point, they're going to have to work as hard as they'll work on anything uh, to bring the Sanders folks in. But the general election is in seven and a half months. It's one of the most consequential elections in American history, if not the most. It was already the case before the coronavirus. So, you know, when Joe Biden, he can't spend in his campaign, can't spend a, a minute or a dime in Wisconsin, in Pennsylvania, in Ohio, which suggests, polls suggest it could be competitive. That's not focused on the general election. And, you know, there's building the campaign. There's deciding which battleground states you're going to target. There's obviously being the one voice uh, narrating Trump's mishandling of this crisis. But the American people are also going to focus on, once we get past the immediate health crisis, this is going to be an economic catastrophe one of the worst this country may have ever faced. And so Joe Biden's going to have to provide answers for people, not just about how he's going to triage the moment, but how we're going to rebuild our economy. So it's irresponsible not to begin focusing on the general election. You can do it in a respectful way. That work has to happen right now, because what's clear over the last few weeks is if you give Donald Trump a second term, my goodness, we literally may not survive it.